Uh, well, we're talking fair, UP good. State Fair. Uh, Lydia LaPalm is with us. How are you? Good, fine. How are you today? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We're thinking about the fair, and uh, coming back this year is the Wellness Fair on Senior Day. Uh, tell me a little about this, uh, Lydia. The fair will be on Wednesday, August 14th from 11 to 2 for people to come in, stroll at, around, look at vendors, and see um, what could help them in their health. Sure. So vendors will be a lot from Community Action Agency as far as, like, welcome newborns, foster grandparents, um, the nutrition program, weatherization, personal care. We also have the Social Security Administration hopefully coming, um, insurance companies, rehab services, doctors for eyes, um, Christian Park, AARP, Alliance Against Abu Violence and Abuse, Alzheimer's Association. So there will be several different things to help you get a healthier you, as our theme is putting the pieces together for a healthier you. Yeah, yeah. So you let's expand on that a little bit, Lydia. What, what's the goal of, of this uh, program as part of Senior Day there at, uh, uh, at the fair? Well, making sure people understand and know that there is help out there for many different things that they want. Um, it just all depends. 211 is a great uh, source for that, but we also at Community Action have a great source of where to find help if you need homeless, if, because that, that's a part of Community Action too. Um, if you need weatherization, help with your house. Um, you know, sometimes grass cutting, uh, snow shoveling, even though we're not into that right now, but um, we can hopefully refer you to people that have come as vendors with us, and you can talk to them directly on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Now, are you still signing people up uh, for this, uh, the uh, for the, the vendor part of it? The vendor part, yep. We're just in the process of signing people up for that right now. If they want to, they can contact me. I have a limited amount of spaces for booths, so that will be on a first-come, first-served basis. Um, but then the, um, we also need the participants to come at the fair on that day and stroll through. They'll be given a piece of paper to visit each booth and have that booth sign up, and then that will be used to pick out the door prizes. And I imagine there's businesses helping out uh, with door prizes and donating and whatnot. That is correct. The application fee helps out with more door prizes, and we also ask that each vendor bring a door prize to, according to, like, maybe their department that they're working for. All right. Anything else about this uh, you want to let people know about? I know you're still organizing it, so we'll have more detail when we get closer to the fair, but uh, anything else right now you'd like to let people know? We are going to have a lunch, a cold box lunch, available there for a suggested donation of $4 for people over 60, um, and they just have to fill out a form with their name, address, date of birth on it. Um, it kind of mimics what our home-delivered meals are in a summer setting. Um, sometimes we have hot food. This one's going to be a cold one because we anticipate it to be warm that day. <laughs> well, if, if anything, if it's anything like today, I think it, it might just well be. So, it might be, yes. Uh, so we're going to plan on having a sandwich, a salad, chips, um, a cookie, a fruit, cup, milk, form. 